Hi, I am Nazm Nasson and in this tutorial we'll learn how to define port signals with different amplitude and phase in CST. And uh, you will also learn four new things from this tutorial. Uh, you will be able to understand how to drive a multi-port antenna and also you will have some idea about sequential and simultaneous uh, driving of the port for multi-port antenna system. You will also learn how to assign custom amplitude and phase value in port signals in CST. And finally, you will have some idea about F parameters. So, let's get it started. If you have multi-port antenna system as shown in these two figures, um, you can drive these multi-port antenna systems in two ways. Either you can drive uh, one port at a time, which is called sequential driving, or you can drive all the ports at the same time, which is known as simultaneous driving of system. So, as I was saying in sequential driving, you drive port uh, 1, for example, and then you terminate port 2 with a matured impedance, which is Z0 in this case. And if we recall the definition of S parameters, for example, S11, uh, we calculate the ratio between the reflected wave and the incident wave uh, with a condition that we drive port 1 and we terminate port 2 with a matched load impedance. So this is the definition of S parameter, right? So inherently, the definition of this parameter depends on the assumption that you are driving each port in sequential manner. So you drive one port and you terminate all other ports with matching load impedance to avoid any reflection. So this principle of sequential driving is always assumed when we calculate its parameters. You should always remember this point. In simultaneous driving, we drive all the ports of the system at the same time. Since simultaneous driving violates the definition of its parameter, we can no longer use to, uh, I mean, use this parameter to characterize the system. We use F parameters instead. For example, we drive port 1 with a signal having an amplitude of A1 and phase of phi 1 and port 2 can have the amplitude of A2 and phase of phi 2. So you can assign different values and phase in different ports of the system. So you can do that in simultaneous driving. So remember, if parameters, they are always uh, calculated assuming simultaneous port excitation. Now, we can also compare the two scenarios the response of the system when you drive the system, the same system under sequential and simultaneous driving, then you can see the S11 plot and F11 plot would be different. So the red curve is the S11 plot when we drive the this multi-port antenna under sequential driving manner. And the blue curve is the F11 plot, which is taking into consideration of simultaneous driving. All right. So in this case, we are driving port one with uh, a zero phase signal and port two with 180 degree out of phase signal. So the conclusion is both scenarios, they're quite different. So the response will be also different. So, um, this is a two-port antenna system. In order to assign various amplitude and phase levels in each port, you have to go to Setup Solver, and from here, select Selection and go to Excitation List. And you must select Simultaneous from Excitation Type option. And this table provides you the information of the amplitude and phase shift in each port. As you can see, I am assigning minus 180 degree 
uh, phase shift in port 2 uh, with uh, a normalized amplitude of 1 in each port and make sure you enable this option and uh, a reference frequency because a phase shift is only valid if parameters they are actually valid at a certain frequency so you should uh, enter your frequency of interest in this field and then uh, if you simulate this system you will have uh, f parameters as you can see in 1d results um, you can see the f parameters f11 and in parenthesis you can see this is the information of port 1 this is the amplitude 1 with a phase angle of 0 plus with the second port information with an amplitude of 1 with the phase of minus 180 degree um, ignore the S parameters because S parameters are only valid for sequential mode but we are only analyzing the system under simultaneous mode uh, so um, you should be focusing on F parameters instead of S parameter and um, if you see the four field plots um, this is the frequency uh, f equal to 4 gigahertz and this is the radiation pattern generated by uh, under the combined effect when the both patch elements are driven at the same time so this radiation plot is generated it's the combined effect the resultant effect of the radiation from both of the patch elements together and we are having a directivity of 5.6 dBi now if you drive the same system under sequential manner I mean one port at a time then you will only have S parameters no F parameters in this case and obviously far fields they will be sequential therefore you will have two far fields in each port for example this is the far field for the patch one the, because we are having two elements so these far fields um, this is the far field generated by uh, first patch element that's why we have one in the parenthesis and this is uh, generated by the second patch element because each patch element is driven in a sequential manner and that's why if you notice the value of directivity the single element directivity is much much lower than the combined directivity of 5.6 dBi so I hope now you understood that you can drive the same system uh, in two different ways in simultaneous fashion or in sequential fashion and you will have different results under different scenarios now things will apply uh, in the same way for a four port network we having we are having a four port antenna system and you can assign different phase and amplitude levels in different ports as you can see i'm giving uh, different amplitudes in different ports with uh, different phase shifts and you can sim uh, simulate the system and generate the f parameters and far field plots as well i'll leave it to you so another question is why do you drive multiple ports with different amplitude and phase angle well the answer is for example if you see this animation you can see there are many patch elements so basically this is a phased array where each port is driven with uh, different phase angles so what happens you can steer the beam depending on the uh, resultant uh, radiation uh, radiation and you know that uh, if you drive each element with a different phase angle then obviously the radiation property will change so the phase angle the phase shift is controlled in such a way so that the resultant radiation add up to a certain direction and produces this uh, maximum beam and you can also move this beam in uh, by controlling the phase angles in different ports so this is the concept behind phased array 
So I hope that the concept has been clarified and thanks for watching this tutorial.